NEET 2024. Five months to go. Most probably, the NEET MDS 2024 will be in March month. All right. So, all the hardworking aspirants who have been preparing for this big exam of their lives, I welcome you all to this session, which is called the last five months preparation strategy for NEET 2024. And with me here is our senior faculty and original guru for endodontics, Dr. Aishwarya Kaushik. All right, sir. So, um, our students, students across India, most of them who are preparing sincerely, who are preparing wholeheartedly, they have done their first revisions by now. Abhi tak students ne apna pura syllabus, they have covered it at least once. If some small topics are left here and there, I think by 15th or 20th October, they will be finishing the whole syllabus uh, at least one time. All right. So now we have five months left. Yeah. How do you think, sir, uh, they should go about for their revisions now? So, well, Dr. Himani, um, first of all, we are talking about, well, you guys, first of all, congratulations to you for sustaining your motivation throughout your, you know, five years. And, you know, we are addressing you because you've, you know, you've completed your, more or less, you've completed your syllabus, right? And you are somewhat high, moderate to high on confidence, Correct. right? Very and true. now is the time where you actually you know, press on the gas pedal and, you know, just take, take care. Yeah, take that leap to getting the best possible rank uh, in your examination. So we have uh, five months to go. Let me tell you, it is no less time, right? So if this time management is done correctly, it can, you know, bear, you know, you can, you can get great results out of it. So what we're thinking, Dr. Himani, is let us very, you know, intelligently divide these five months into two parts. That's three months and two months, right? Okay. Why three months? Because the first, obviously, you've done one or two revisions, right? Some subjects are very strong, some are not that strong. So the first part obviously will be comprising of a greater duration than the second part. Right. So what do we do in the first three months, Dr. Himani? So uh, what you're trying to say is basically we do our second revisions in the first three months Absolutely. and our third revision in the next two months. Yeah. So maybe in the first three months, you have 90 days. And if you divide 19 subjects, you have around four and a half day per subject. Right. Yeah. Let's not count that half day because there will be Diwali, there will be Christmas. So many festivals coming up in India Absolutely. in these seasons. And there will be some days when you're not that productive. So maybe you have four day per subject. So I think the first thing these children should do is make a timetable four days for every subject so that in the next three months, you finish your second revision of all the subjects. So what about subjects which are like physio, biochem, commonly they are like, you know, 14 questions commonly from these two subjects and like patho micro commonly. Absolutely, so, Dr. Himani. So what we can do is when we have you know, subjects from which, you know, much more or less standard questions are being asked and you think that you can, say, do these subjects in less duration of time. There are certain subjects which you feel are tougher to understand, tougher to retain. So you can probably, you know, club two subjects like Physio BC or Path and Micro together as and consider them as one subject, one subject. finish them in four days, three and a half, four, four and a half days and say, for example, you have dental materials or oral surgery or orthodontics which you feel are tough to retain you need multiple Vast. revisions so you can expand the time duration to five and a half six six and six a half days, days. Yeah. so basically on an average you can keep four days per subject slightly less number of days for the easier subjects which you feel are easier or which have less weightage and slightly more number of days for vast subjects, prosto, dental materials, ortho, you know, oral surgery, whatever you feel is more difficult for you to retain and, you know, remember. So like that, you have to first make a timetable of the next three months, wherein four days per subject. Then you have to actually divide your day also. So, sir, finally, the exam is going to be from 9 to 12 or rarely 10 to 1. Most of the yeah. times it will be 9 to 12 exam, a 3 hours exam. So what is the timetable that the child should have from day to night? I mean, how should you think, how do you think they should divide the day? So what we can do is, what we recommend is that during the day, 
you can do your theory part and during the latter part of the Second day that is evening and during the night those of you who are you know up till late night then you can start doing your mcqs right doing mcqs repeatedly in a consistent manner every day and correlating that with theory is the most important thing yes. so every day you have to simulate that 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 mentality that you will have on the exam day Correct. that is theory a combination of theory and a combination of m as many mcqs as possible especially for those of you who've already you know done your course once once okay yeah. so uh, to summarize maybe you can do um, your notes your synopsis whatever kind of theory whatever notes you have made or your academy notes you can use those notes and read those notes in the first half when you are fresh when your mind is fresh when your you know uptake is stronger and then after taking some rest, maybe it's the second half of the day, you can do the questions. Questions can be done from question bank, from whatever book you have been reading. Just revising that again and again and again. And one more thing, sir, I feel is giving tests. At least two tests should be given every week. So you can just choose two to three days, maybe a Wednesday and a Sunday, something like that. And practice giving the test. Because your final race is not going to be a theory test. It is going to be an MCQ exam, timed exam, 240 questions, 180 minutes. You have to be really, really fast. You have to be really, really precise. So give as many tests as you can. When you are revising a subject, you can do the post-class test. You can do the subject-wise test, whatever your academy has to offer. When you are revising the whole, you know, the whole syllabus, like on a Sunday, maybe you, you fix a day that on a Sunday, I will do the whole syllabus test. So you can take a grand test wherein you have, you know, 240 questions in 200, 180 minutes and do the whole test with the explanation. So that will be a very good practice of the whole syllabus, I think. You want and, to add Dr. Imani, yeah? and Dr. Imani, the timing of the test. Yes. I think the timing of the test should simulate the final timing during which you're going to give the examination. And that examination, as we just discussed, was either 10 to 1 or 9 to 12. So try getting up you, you, your, your schedule, the daily schedule has to be planned in such a manner, especially those two days in which you're attempting those tests. What we are recommending is every third day. So if you're giving a test on Wednesday, if you're giving a test on Sunday, before that start, you're planning for that time duration of the test, give it as seriously as possible. Start that planning one day prior. That means go to sleep the correct time, get up at 6 a.m. in the morning, Get ready, do your, you know, routine that you think that you will be doing on the day of the examination. Correct. That's a very, very important Get ready point. by 8 a.m., sit in front of your computer screens, attempt the computer-based test because it's a computer-based test exactly. that is going to happen yes. and attempt the test between 10 to 1 or 9 to 12, you know. Yes. That will put you in that habit Correct. of, you know, doing it just like it is supposed to be done on the day of on the exam. On the day of the exam. Your body clock will be set accordingly. So all those who have the habit of, you know, uh, waking up till 2 a.m., 3 a.m. in the night, it's not a bad habit. But my dear friends, the exam will be from 9 to 12. So your body clock should be set that, you know, you have to reach the center at 8 a.m. For which you have to leave the house at 7 a.m. So you have to get up at 6 a.m. So the sooner you start practicing to get up at 6 a.m., the more your body will be accustomed to that timetable. So, you know, sleep by 12, 12, 31, take a nap in the afternoon if possible and, you know, get up on time, sit in front of your computer and take the test from 9 to 1. All right. And I think this is the three month strategy. Yeah. And the same strategy we will repeat in the next two months. All right. Some students who need a little help. So maybe they can do a test and discussion kind of a format wherein, you know, you can just judge which are your weak subjects or which are your weak subtopics in that subject. So you can give a test and you can uh, listen to the explanation. It is so beautifully made in the test and discussion format that you, the, your whole subject is covered in that TND. Yeah. So in the next three months, you can, you can do this test and discussion. And in the next last two months, you can just listen to the whole subject in a revision. Two days, eight hours, complete subject revision and your own notes, your question bank, your PYQs and your giving the grand tests again and again and again. All right. So to summarize, I think let's let's just put this across. Get up on time. Split your day between the morning theory half and the evening question half. Divide five months into three months of second revision and two months of third revision. 
in the three months divide your subject into you know four days per subject and it will be like two and a half to three days per subject in the second you know in the last two months and you know make a schedule please follow that schedule you know it's very easy to make a schedule but uh, following that is completely you know it, it needs a very very strong disciplined person and the one who follows this discipline is the one who will emerge as the winner all right so i think that is the five month preparation strategy from us um, uh, you can take help of the tnd programs the details of which will be given to you and i wish all the best to all of you for your coming exams both dr aishwarya and i we wish you all the best all the best guys mm -hmm.